week on Storyboard, we take you to Emacs Global 2016, where Storyboard editor Antranga Swami is speaking to Sabaz Joseph, founder director of Wizcraft International, Prasoon Joshi, chairman McCann World Group Asia Pacific, CDL Srinivas, CEO Group M South Asia, Chris Whale, chairman and CEO Momentum Worldwide, and Michael Menezes, chairman Showtime, about how ad and media agencies are taking over event companies over the past few years. We also speak to Alistair Leith, Design Director Maid Thot and Juta Buchenhauer, International Sales Manager G.F. Smith on the sidelines of Curious Design Yatra 2016. Hello and welcome to Storyboard. This is Shibani Gharat. Mumbai hosted Emacs Global Conclave 2016 recently. At this platform, many issues pertaining to event industry were discussed at length. We spoke to Sabas Joseph, founder-director of Wizcraft International, about the changing scenario in the event industry today and his expectations from a platform such as Emacs Global Conclave. What are your biggest learnings and what are the learnings you're going to carry to the next four or five years? I think the biggest learnings that one has seen is that uh, if you require to be accepted as part of the regular marketing game, okay, industry, you have to also deliver to its same um, uh, levels of uh, be it ROI, uh, being able to be accountable, being able to deliver in a certain structured manner. Because uh, being uh, just, uh, what do you say, uh, a, a disruptor system, which events and event marketing is very often, uh, we have great disruption and we get a lot of visibility, a uh, lot of uh, voice and share of voice and a lot of earned media and earned visib visibility around it. Uh, we will require to also begin to recognize the value of traditional marketing, traditional advertising and be able to look at some of those systems that we can embrace, uh, be it a uh, return on engagement uh, matrix that we can put into place, look at how audience uh, can be brought in, engaged with and connected with on long term paradigm and really not just be about execution. It's about consumer engagement that the industry requires to move to. And I think I can see that change already coming in. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Sabas. All the best. Thank you. Also at the event, storyboard editor Antranga Swami moderated a panel discussion where he spoke to Sabas Joseph, founder director of Wizcraft International, Prasoon Joshi, chairman McCann World Group Asia Pacific, CVL Srinivas, CEO Group M South Asia, Chris Whale, chairman and CEO Momentum Worldwide, and Michael Menezes, chairman Showtime, on what are their learnings that the event industry can derive for the future. The key takeaway from the discussion was how ad and media agencies are taking over event companies and how event companies need to evolve in the forthcoming years. Let's take a look at the full conversation. You know, uh, I think uh, Kubla put it well when she said, you know, it's event management industry has become more than event management. And uh, that sounded wonderfully positive, but, uh, you know, I, I uh, have this uh, cynical and negative view of looking at lots of things which person is aware of and I look around and say where are the marketers here other than uh, Srini where are the spenders from the media agencies and I say no this is not an ecosystem yet it needs to become one you know uh, I've dealt with uh, Sabas, Michael, Roshan for ages from the time events were great fun you know in early 90s when Pepsi and Coke came to India, MTV and Channel V came to India, Bacardi and Smirnoff launched. And they were fantastic events, fantastic ground events with no chance of amplification. I'd say one of the learnings has been event management industry uh, has got sort of stifled because it has stayed alone. You know, it is uh, not included the marketer. I think that's the first learning, you know, you want to find a way to include all of them. So, uh, I'm going to ask, start with Sabas and Michael and Sabas, tell me what is the biggest learning you've had in the last 20 years? My only learning in the last 20 years is that we're learning. We continue to learn every day, every moment, and the more we are able to implement our learnings, the more we will grow. We are the future, and we will continue to be the toast of every marketeer in the years to come and forever. 
Uh, so this is something it. I've heard for 20 years. You know, it's... Uh, it stays it's, the same. It's not new. You know, it's... Uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking at it as a consumer rather than, uh, you know, a watcher. And really speaking, uh, media agency business has grown by leaps and bounds and they're getting into your business. The creative industry, even by gobbling up a uh, Roshan, is getting into your business. So, you know, it's... It, it, one, one says, is it optimism, just optimism? Do you need to really get out and say, let us become partners, friends, collaborators with the larger industry? Is that one of the things that event management needs to do? Uh, to be honest, uh, that's already happening. We have a very strong collaboration that works between Group M and uh, Wiscraft as a company, right. uh, where we work on various projects, various IPs, etc., that uh, we are creating together. And uh, there's a partnership there. There's a partnership on with clients. Today, clients uh, partner with event companies to be able to create properties, to be able to create platforms and recreate their own brand world uh, using event companies, which wasn't the case earlier. So the world has changed. It's not the same for 20 years. Uh, it, there's been a dramatic progression, especially in the last three to five years, and that is beginning to show. Uh, Prasun, you know, you're, you've handled one of the world's largest brands for the longest time, that is Coke. And, uh, you know, Coke came back to India in the early 90s, and you've been associated more or less since then, no, little after that. There's no greater uh, brand opportunity to create intimacy at, you know, either in a small uh, physical venue or at scale than Coke. So what hampers stuff like what we saw from Chris's presentation uh, happening in India? Uh, yeah, very good question. Uh, Coke... If you see, we have, uh, and with Momentum now, our company, uh, we have started doing Coke Studio in India. Right. Uh, so Coke Studio is, a, is an experiential, uh, you know, uh, event property, uh, which started in Pakistan and which was immensely successful there. Now we have uh, Coke Studio in India, and which is doing very well. And you can see a lot of requests coming from various clients and say, can we have a setup of Coke Studio in our, you know, annual event and all that. And Coke Studio is managed by us. Uh, Having said that, no, what by us meaning by McCann. By McCann, right. yeah. Uh, events, I'm saying. Right. Also. Right. Now, so that's what, that's what I'm saying. On one hand, we are creating property. On the other hand, we are integrating them. So uh, that's, that's that early days, but we've started doing it. Right. Now, the question is, what is hampering, uh, uh, you know, this happening more often in India? I think when it comes to events, uh, as much as, you know, uh, the cultural... Uh, changes in the world are playing a role here. We need to understand it's not about doing a big event. Right. It's about doing a relevant event. I don't think we have been able to get into see a lot of events are happening. If you go into India and the rural India, see everywhere you'll find little pandals in the corner there is some event is happening. Sure. So India loves events. Whether it's a Kushti event happening, whether it's a local people the talent hunt is happening, there is have you been able to showcase and integrate them? Or we are trying to, you know, import ideas and like shove it down the throats of people that you should listen to a rock concert. You right. should listen to only this. They don't want a rock concert. They want a comedy show by Raju Srivastava. Or, now, a, or a kabaddi. Or a kabaddi. Or Absolutely. I think we, that bridge between what they want, what, the, what our consumer really wants and what we've been giving them, I think there is some gap there. In advertising earlier, and you, we, you know, the, the days of adaptation, we adapted ads, right. and we believed that this will work. Eventually, we reached a stage where we had to do Thanda Matlab Coca Cola. Right, sure. So that, I mean, that which, by the way, was his line: uh, Thanda Matlab Coca Cola. All those ads were Prasun's line. Anyway, Prasun, I, I, w I want to stay with you. Now, you, there was a very telling statement. You said we launched Coke Studio in India, and I said, "Who's we?" And you said, "McCann." And then you said we do the event management as well. You said that. So where does that leave a Michael or a Sabas? Why aren't you working with, you know, experts in the business? No, but you know? we are now. See, we what what he rep represents, what he's right. here for. Actually, it's high time that uh, you know uh, Chris came here. He's been planning to come here for many years. Mm -hmm. That you know we make you realize that there is a huge whiz, whiz craft. You know, which is a global witchcraft that McCann has, which is called Momentum, right. which we haven't yet sort of uh, exercised yeah. here well. Yeah. So it's not about saying that we're not wanting to work with any of witchcraft. In many cases, we do work. Familiar territory for you. You know, uh, like I've been a watcher of event management forever. 
And one of the things that hasn't changed over the years is measurability. Now that's a bane not of event management, it's a bane we know of everything except TV today, I think, where TV is getting measured, hopefully other things will get measured. Do you think the event management uh, industry is to blame for not making it easier for marketers to take decisions by saying, this is the ROI, you mentioned ROI as well. You know, ROI was very hazy, give me a crore for this, why one crore, nobody knows. Give me five crores, why, what is your IFA ticket, whatever. No, 100 crores. Why 100 crores? Nobody knows. It's one hazy game. Is, is that a problem? That you, and you, do you find that when you negotiate with event management companies as well? Overall, I think, uh, you know, accountability uh, when it comes to marketing investment, uh, you know, hasn't really been on the agenda or on the radar till actually quite recently. Uh, and the only thing that could be measured was TV and even the TV measurement is pretty basic. It was just a rating point of how many people actually viewed a program. Sure. Uh, I would say in the last three, four years, uh, there has been quite a change and today, uh, given the pressure most corporates are under, uh, you know, the first question anyone asks before sanctioning a budget is what am I going to get out of it, right. whatever it is, whether it's uh, media, whether it's non-media, whatever else. Mm -hmm. Uh, which is why I think today uh, it's very important, I think the point Chris made earlier is absolutely valid, uh, you know, whether you're in events, whether you're in experiential, whether you're in media planning or what creative or whatever, you need to, you need to know even before going in with a concept or an idea, uh, you need to know what it's going to deliver, what, how's it going to impact the brand, right. how's it going to impact uh, the business. With that, we'll sort of wrap it up. Thank you. It is time for us to slip into a short break. When we return, we speak to Alistair Leith, Design Director, Maid Thought and Juta Birkenhauer, International Sales Manager, G.F. Smith, whom we caught up at Curious Design Yatra 2016.